everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this bitch. That's right. We are back, Tommy, and we're back with a special treat. Yes, a big one. Uh, guys, we are going to be reviewing Herb Abrams UWF Beach Brawl 1991. Yes. Uh, now, we should uh, also mention that this is the first ever UWF pay-per-view. Yes, it is. And there is only one other pay-per-view. Yes. The Blackjack. Uh, Blackjack Brawl. Blackjack Brawl, which uh, we'll be reviewing at some point. Yes. You know, there's only two we, we can do. We don't yeah. really want to do them back-to-back. -back. Yeah, you don't want to get rid of her yet. Yeah, not, not, not yet. But, Tommy, UWF Beach Brawl 1991, June 9th. 1991, this is Herb Abrams' UWF, not Bill Watts's. Nah, you're going, yeah, this is not Bill Watts' UWF. Don't get confused here. That's right. Tommy, we got the commentators of Craig DeGeorge uh -huh. and Bruno San Martino. Yes. So, what do you think? Craig DeGeorge sucks. I, you know, I remember him in the WWF. I can tell why Vince is like, yeah, put that motherfucker on Coliseum video. He don't deserve to be on my goddamn television. Oh, you want you want to do some, Craig? You can do the interviews. I didn't. Where care. we only endure you for a minute. I didn't care for Craig DeGeorge. No, he was he was a bad announcer. Yeah. I'm sorry. Same. Uh, Bruno San Martino. All right. A I, legend. I like I, I like Bruno. A legend. I legend. I do, and that's a big coup. But he's horrible on commentary. He is. He is. He is. Like Bruno's Bruno is horrible. Like he's the shits. Mm-hmm. You know, with that low ass fucking voice. <laughs> you know, Craig. <laughs> you know, Greg. Uh, yeah. I didn't know he could do that. Tommy, we got a pay per view buy rate of point ten. Yeah, that's pretty sad. That is pretty sad. Uh, that, that's not even one percent. There you go. And mm -hmm. Tommy, <sighs> you know who I hope gets that kind of standard? Huh? AEW. Ah, uh, the marks level. Uh, well, they deserve the one percent. Tommy, we're at the Manatee Civic Center in yeah. Palomino, Florida. Yes. Oh, they mentioned that a lot. That big while. Yeah, Craig DeGeorge mentioned that a lot during they this. They put that over. We're here at the fucking center here. And not only that, Tommy, but 550 in attendance. There's 550 fans. 550 fans here for this fucking show. We got more subscribers than 500. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> But anyway, um, and and yes, like every time, and guys, there's empty seats. You, you guys oh, can you see can them. see it. There's empty seats all over, and Tommy fucking, oh my god, uh, empty seats galore. And they do the wide camera shot oh. where it says the Manatee Civic Center. Oh, you know? when they do the wide shot, you can see a whole like, rows of seats, and they do it multiple times. You can see, you can see a whole bo a whole row, a whole bunch of empty seats. When they say, we're here live, here at the center here, in wherever fuck Florida we're at here. Palomino, Florida. Palomino, where fucking, where the fuck it is, Centipede, Florida. I don't give a fuck what it's called. But, Tommy, uh, the dark match. Yeah. We have Boris Zukov. Yep. As he takes on Paul Samson. Don't know who the fuck Paul Samson is. Probably a jobber. Yeah, probably. Uh, and, uh... Boris Zukov gets the win here because he couldn't get one in WWF. So. Yeah, we know that. So, Boris Zukov gets the win here over Phil Sampson. Paul Sampson. Whatever the fucking jobber's name is. Paul Sampson. Paul Sampson. Tommy, we got Brian Rico introduces the show. The Ooh. guy, you know, the, the, the guy standing with the UWF beach bra in the background. Oh. Oh, that guy. Uh, and then no one heard of <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they do a bunch of interviews with, like, Dr. Jesse Williams, uh, 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 Bam Bam Bigelow. Um, I think they do one with Cowboy Bob Orton and yeah. Cactus Jack. But uh, they do multiple interviews, kind of hype up the show. And then Tommy, he brings in the president, the esteemed president. Yes, of UWF. Of UWF. And it's Herb Abrams. Herb Abrams. Mr. Electricity, here he comes. Yes. And, and he gets the question Yeah, of, he gets the question. Who do you think is going to win the uh, Sports Fucking Channel TV Championship here? Sports Illustrated Championship. Whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Sports Channel. Uh, I'm going with the Doc. All right, Herb. That's great. <laughs> that, that's great, Herb. The Doc. I'm, the going, doc. I, I'm going with the Doc. 
<laughs> well, that's great, Herb. Let's let's go to see some. He's, he, he's supposed to be Mr. Electricity. Yeah. Let's let's go. Let's show five hundred fifty a great show. <laughs> that's right, uh, Tommy. The one thing that I really hate about this is Tommy. They have a ring announcer. Yes. For this for for, for this big show, big show. Yeah. Uh, but Herb Abrams. Uh, uh, does voiceovers for certain wrestlers, like yeah. some of the bigger wrestlers. Yeah, of course, the bigger names. He does voiceovers for 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 introductions, and it was annoying as fuck. So why the fuck is the ring announcer in there? They now? don't have a ring announcer. Yeah, they don't have a fucking ring announcer. Why don't you do it? Why don't you anyway. get in there and fucking do the ring announcing that? First match on the card, Tommy, we have Firecat and Jim Cooper. Yeah, the team of Firecat and Jim Cooper. As they take on the Blackhearts, Apocalypse and Destruction with Luna, as they say, Vishon. Yeah, Vishon. Vishon. Luna Vishon. Instead of Luna Vishon, but anyway. Uh, Tommy, what'd you think? Match sucked. <laughs> the match sucked. The only thing I enjoyed was seeing Luna. Oh, the rest was shitty. I'm get uh, And boy, was Firecat on fire. He was Firecat uh, was on fire. And Jim Cooper, you can tell that's a jobber name, so you know how that's going. Did he like when Firecat went for like the fucking uh, the, the the fucking cradle, right? Yeah. And he tapped the like, he yeah. tapped on the heart. Yeah, come on, motherfucker, you got to get over. You got to roll over. <laughs> Classic stuff. Tommy the the Blackhearts hot shot Cooper on the yep. rope. Uh, and they throw Firecat on the outside. Oh, he got caught in the ropes there. <laughs> he did get caught His in the foot got caught in there to throw his ass out. His foot got caught, but he took a tumble. And then, Tommy, one of the worst and shittiest yes. Vegematics I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, one of the Blackheart Symphony of Destruction, where fuck dumbass name is. Yeah. Fucking, fuck these guys. How do you yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. They're jobbers. They are. Fucking, fucking, they get it, set them up for fucking the big shitty Vegematics. Probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Yeah. And they pin fucking Jimmy Cooper here. Yeah, Jim Cooper. Jim Cooper, Jimmy Cooper, fucking little Jimmy, fuck his guy too. And, and fucking, they pin him one, two, three. And Luna. And Luna gets in. Well, no, she attacks Firecat on that side. Well, well, fuck, that's the only enjoyment I got. Was yeah. seeing Luna fucking beat the fuck out of Firecat. Yeah. You know, that's that's the only enjoyment I got in this fucking match. Yeah. Fuck, put Luna in there with Firecat. Maybe it would be more fucking better. It might have been more better than this match. It was pretty shitty. Yeah, this match was shitty. Well, Tommy, let's see if we could build up some anticipation. Tommy, we got the All-American. We're not talking J about Jack, Jake Hager. <laughs> no, we're talking about the All-American Johnny Ace. Yeah, with that sweet-ass long mullet. Yeah. Here he comes. Uh, he's going to be taking on Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Tommy, this is a street fight. Yes, it is. Now... And I, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be awesome street fight. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, uh, Terry Gordy. Don't get two name. fucks about Johnny Ace. Yeah, but no, don't care about Johnny Ace. Never. I did. like Terry Gordy. Uh, yeah, I was figuring, ah, it might be all right. Tommy, did you like how, uh, how Johnny Ace was on a queer street? <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> fuck was Craig DeGeorge? Yeah, I think he was trying to say Dream Streak or what, but he said Johnny Ace is on queer street. Queer street. Can't get away with that in 2020, huh? No, what the fuck was Craig DeGeorge thinking? But, uh, um, I think it was, uh, Gordy hit him and, you know, he kind of like, yeah. you know, stuff back. He goes, oh, he's on Queer Street. <laughs> like, yeah. Queer Street. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Tommy, shitty dive by Johnny yeah. Ace. Oh, outside. it was horrible. He missed it. <laughs> he missed it. Terry Gordy by a mile. You see Gordy he getting over like... there catching. And he fucking just takes a dive and he fucking Gordy misses him. He misses him. He missed the mark. Did Johnny fucking mullet Ace over here. Tommy, they fight. Into the empty seat. Yes, they do. They <laughs> fight. The worst they, they fight. They fight. They they fight in 550 fans here yeah, that's right. at fucking where the fuck is this at again? The Manatee Civic Center. Yeah. Tommy, they played a thousand yeah, times. Yeah, the well, show. Fuck, 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 Florida. How you like that? <laughs> and fuck it. And fuck it. They uh, they fucking fighting the crowd here of 550. And empty you see seats. nothing but empty rows of seats. <laughs> that's right. And then you hear the fucking bell, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, what the fuck's this shit? It's supposed to be a street fight, ain't it? It's supposed to be a street fight. Both men have been counted out. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is a fucking street fight. How the fuck can you have a street fight end in a fucking double count out? Well, they did it. How? I don't know. What the fuck? How 
the fuck can you end a fucking street fight in a double fucking count out? Now, me and you discuss this. We think we're thinking that 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 it ended in a, in a double uh, double uh, count out because Terry Gordon was working Japan, big name there. Johnny Ace was working sub one to Japan at this time. Yeah. Later on, he works a little bit more, but um, I don't think that. Japan would have been great for one of them to uh, to lose over the other, so they did a a, a double count out. But well, that's is, fine. Th yeah, don't make it a fucking street fight then. Do not make it a fucking street fight. I'm make gonna, ma I'm make gonna, it a regular match. Yeah, make it a regular match. I can see the double count out then. Yeah, but goddamn, don't make it a fucking street fight in and double count out. You can't do that. Dumb. This fucking stupid. And Tommy, they continue. And more stupid are here. Yeah, they continue to fight. They grab those shitty chairs that you can't fold, throw them in the rings. Yeah. Both of them get in and out of the ring. Then they fight a little bit more. Too long. Too fucking long. Didn't, Just in this clusterfuck. Didn't care. Just in this clusterfuck. Poor, poor way to use fucking Terry, Bam Bam, Gordy. Johnny Ace deserved everything he got. <laughs> I agree but, with you on that. But fucking Terry Gordy did deserve to be in this fucking clusterfuck. I agreed with you on that. Tommy, the next match we have... The Power Twins coming out with fly swatters. Yeah, they're they're swapping the flies here from the 500. You know why they got the fucking fly swatters? Because they they endured some shit. And so there's some gnats and some fucking flies, flies. and it's all over the goddamn fucking ring. There. It's the shits. Yeah, so they're they're swatting the goddamn flies away here. They're gonna be taking on Tommy Mass Confusion, which is. B. Bly Brian Blair and Jumpin' Jim Brunzel because, of course, Killer Bees is owned by the World Wrestling Federation. So yeah. They so they're called that. Mass Confusion. Mass here. Confusion. Tommy, this was one of the most boring matches. This match was boring. 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 I didn't get two fucks about the power team here. What? Power Twins. Power Twins, power team, fuck them. <laughs> okay. And I didn't get two fucks about B. Brian Blair and Jumping Jim Bronzel. Fucking both. Or all, all Killer four. Bees were good in the 80s. This ain't the 80s. This is 90s. And Tommy, boring because, let's just be honest, Power Twins are doing power moves. Yeah. Because the they're big guys. And Jim Bronzel and uh, Brian Blair are pretty much just working on their legs. Yeah. With the, like twisting holds and shit. Yeah. It Made it as boring fuck. as fuck. It was boring. Tommy, Mass Confusion puts on the masks. Yeah. Then they do the little switcheroo. Yes. Uh, sunset Flip. Yeah, fucking Jim Brunzel got caught. The other guy didn't move his fucking foot. He's like, move your fucking foot, you fat ass. Yeah, so I can slip out of the ring. So I can slip out of the ring. Finally, he moves his fucking, he moves his fucking old foot there. And fucking, and fucking Brian Blair pins him one, two, three with the Sunset Flip. Yeah. And uh, the match sucked. Boring. Boring and the match fucking sucked. So your winners... Our mass confusion, Jim Bronzel and B. Brian Blair here, uh, bootleg killer bees. Next match, Tommy, is for the first ever UWF Ladies Championship. Tommy, we have Candy Devine versus former WWF Women's Champion. Yep. Rock and Robin. Have you noticed something? So far, these matches have been the shits. And of course, and of course, Herb Abrams does the inter, uh, d d yeah, d d does the introduction for Rock and Robin. Yeah, so. he's like fuck Candy Divine. Yeah, fuck her. <coughs> and uh, Tommy, this was the shits. Yes, it was a horrible fucking women's match. Rock and Robin misses with a drop kick. And what the fuck music were they playing for fucking Rock and Robin? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck music is this shit? Horrible, horrible. Tommy, Candy Divine gets run into the ropes. Yeah. Uh, well, sorry, into the turnbuckle. And uh, Rockin' Robin does a roll-up. Yeah, roll-up. One, two, three. And uh, Rockin' Robin's the new... And first ever. First ever. UWF. Women's champion, but they say ladies. <laughs> yes, yeah, ladies. It, which one is it? Is it women's or ladies? Yeah, which one is it? Uh, and so she's the first ever UWF ladies champion. What does that tell you? Anyway. Women's champion. Well, and, 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 yeah. and, and by the way, uh, the match sucked. Yeah, the match fucking sucked. It did. Tommy, next we have videos that they show of Colonel De Beers. Yeah. One well, of your favorite colonels, I assume. Colonel De Beers, right? <laughs> Fuck him too. He's saying that he doesn't want he doesn't want a black referee. Uh-huh. Uh disparaging and beating up a lot of black wrestlers. Yeah. And referees. Yeah. 
uh, saying that uh, no black man's going to be, uh, you know, is, is going to referee my match. Yeah. Can't get, you can't get away with that in 2020. No. But then you see Craig DeGeorge. He goes, well, you guys yeah, seen well, it. <laughs> well, you guys seen the highlights here. The build up. The up here. And here comes Colonel De Beers walking down, grabbing that fucking mustache here, twirling it around. And then here comes Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. <laughs> what the fuck? Tommy, in that video package, did they mention Paul Orndorff? Is Paul Orndorff a soul brother? <laughs> Jazz soul, bro. Is he part of fucking... Like, what the fuck? Like, I can understand if it was an African-American wrestler. <laughs> I can understand all that, but it what? It was Paul fucking Orndorff. Are they saying Paul Orndorff's fucking, <laughs> you know, fuck? I don't know, Tommy. They go, oh, you've seen it. Here's the great match. And Tommy, not only, not only is Colonel De Beers and Paul Orndorff wrestling, but it's a strap match. And Tommy, yes. we've, we've seen a lot of strap matches over yeah. the years. Strap matches usually have the have have you know wrist to wrist, yeah, long strap. Tommy, they just have a belt. <laughs> yeah, a fucking belt. A belt that you get a fucking Kmart for one ninety nine, or it's just a plain fucking leather belt. So this is your fucking strap match. Yeah. Fuck this. I agree. Fuck this. Tommy, I will have to give one good credit here. Uh, Colonel Beer, Colonel De Beers was selling like a motherfucker. Well, yeah, <laughs> doing, yeah, doing the bumps and doing all this when he's getting whipped, and that was that, okay. That was okay. Tommy, power driver. Yep. Paul <laughs> Orndorff hits the power driver on Colonel De Beers on the belt here. Yeah, I'm gonna say strap. It's a fucking belt. It's a belt on the belt. One, two, three, and. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. He grabs the American flag. He grabs the American flag. Starts waving like he's, starts a, waving like he's a proud American. Like a proud American. I am a real American. Colonel De Beers grabs a fucking stun gun out of his fucking army oh, pants. Yeah. Sticks it to fucking Paul Orndorff's fucking neck. You see Orndorff doing all this. <laughs> going to convulsions. And then Tommy, whoa, Orndorff is going to convulsions. You hear Craig George, oh, he used a stunt gun. <laughs> yeah, Paul, and fucking Bruno here, what the fuck's a stunt gun? Yeah, he goes, a stunt gun, what's a stunt gun? What's a stun gun? You don't know what the fuck a stun gun is, Bruno? Bruno's used to knives and guns. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's used to fucking knives and guns. I never heard of a stun gun there, Craig. <laughs> I never heard of a stunt gun there, Craig. Uh, you know, and, 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 and then eventually Paul wakes up as yeah. they take Colonel B the beers to the back. And fucking, here comes Paul Orndorff getting out of the ring after being shocked here. Yeah. And fucking, he's walking back. You see a fan trying to hand a pen and a piece of paper where it goes, fuck you, right? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of moves it over to Because the side. I ain't signing shit. <laughs> Next, Tommy, we have Captain Lou Albano yes. comes out. Big coup for Captain yeah, Lou. Yeah, big coup for Captain Lou Albano. Here he comes. Uh, he comes out, he's going to interview Luna. <laughs> Vishon. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the Blackhearts. Who just had a fucking jobber match in the opening match. Yeah, who had the, jo the, the jobber match against Jim Cooper and Firecat. And Tommy, L Luna comes out with a snake yeah. around her neck. And I guess I guess Captain Lou's afraid of snakes, I guess. I guess, I don't know. He said that, he pretty much just said that that, that this team ain't worth a damn and, you know, uh, you know they can't beat anybody. And, yeah. And, and then he throws the mic down and leaves. Yeah, he just throws the fucking mic down and leaves. Why have this on? Why the fuck is this in here then? I don't understand. Why the fuck did you? That's a great way to fucking show Captain Lou. <laughs> just let him come out there and say you suck and all this shit, and then just walk out. Yeah. With his rubber bands. Yeah. Fuck this. Pointless. Fuck this. Let's go to the next match, Tommy. This is billed as a legends match. Well, fuck all I seen was nothing but legends. <laughs> Uh, I think the Blackhearts are legends. No, they're jobbers. Let's go ahead and get in this legends match, Tommy. It is the Russian Bear, Ivan Koloff, with his manager, Mr. Red. Yes. As he takes on the former World Heavyweight Champion of the WWF, Bob 
Backlund. Yes. Now, I will say this. And both of these guys are two former world champions. Both are former world heavyweight champions. Uh, both have great rec name recognition. Um, and uh, Bob Backlund looked fantastic. Well, yeah. He did. He looked fantastic. Um, one thing about this match, it was really short. Yeah. It but, was uh, then too again, short. But, but then again, I can understand. I can understand. They're yeah. both kind of older. Don't want to really want to wrestle that much. Um, even though we know later on we do see Bob Backlund in 94 do a yeah. lot of good things in WWF. But um, Tommy, we see Ivan Koloff run to the rope. Yes. Uh, well, sorry, into the turnbuckle. And uh, Bob Backlund goes behind him, hits him with a roll up. Yep. With a bridge. Roll up with a bridge. One, two, three. And uh, Bob Backlund. Picks up the win here with the Russian bear, Ivan Koloff, and uh, Bob Backlund goes over and greets the kids, gives them a hug and a kiss. And <laughs> yeah, he, start, he starts hugging He starts hugging the kids. Yeah, hugging and kissing the kids here. Uh, Captain Lou comes out, Tommy, yeah. after uh, after having that horrible interview. Uh, he comes out, and uh, Mr. Red is in, the, uh, is in the ring. Yeah. And uh, he ends up punching Mr. Red in the face. Yes. Mr. Red goes down. Uh, and, uh, Captain Lou pulls off, uh... Yeah, well, Ivan Cole is trying to get him out. Pulls off his, uh, his pants, and, uh, Mr. Red's running around in his big underwear. Yes. Uh, you know who Mr. Red reminded me of? A Buddy Landell, Mark. <laughs> he did, didn't he? He looked like Buddy Landell. Yeah. He did. A fat Buddy Landell. Yeah. should say that. Um, same hair and everything. <laughs> Ref watched the hair, but anyway... He did look like a Buddy Landell, Mark. Um... I mean, you know, the match the match was what it was. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it was bad or nothing, but I mean, it wasn't great or nothing. It wasn't, it wasn't really even that good, but it was something. Yeah, it was something. It was something. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. And, and, and a little ha-ha at the end. Yeah. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. We have Cowboy ba Ace Bob Orton. Yes. And the unpredictable Cactus Jack. Yes. With their manager, the coach, John Tolis. Versus Wet and Wild. Yeah, Wet and Wild. We got Steve, uh, uh, Steve the Wild Thing Ray. Uh-huh. And Sunny Beach. And I, wonder, Tom, I and, wonder if Sunny Beach is the wet one. <laughs> I think he is. You know, because they said Wet and Wild, so, so I guess Steve Wild Thing Ray, I guess he's the wild. He is so wet. I guess Sunny Beach is wet. Yeah, wet wild. He looked like wet with that lifeguard on it. <laughs> looked like fucking yeah, Sandman. That lifeguard with, gear. It was like Sandman in '92. Yeah, he did. It looked like fucking Sandman. Um, and same fucking gear. Same gear. And then Tommy, they're they're brought to the ring with the Beach Bunnies. They didn't look like Beach. They, they look. They look like fucking Ricky Steamboat's ex-wife in 1988. <laughs> In 1989, <laughs> they're coming out these like gowns. And yeah, I'm like, I'm like, well, you never wear that. You'll never wear that in the fucking beach. Well, see, you know, I think it would have made more sense for them to come out like bikinis, I guess. Yeah, you know? but anyway. yeah, but they come out like look, look, look like Ricky Steamboat's ex-wife from 1989. Yep. Won't you just say, and here comes Wet and Wild Steve, Wild Thing Ray, and Sunny Wet Beach. Sunny <laughs> Wet. With some ring rats. Why don't they just come out and say it? So they did. But anyway, Tommy, this match actually has a backstory. Shocking! Yeah, at least there's a fucking backstory in this there, match. There's a backstory in this match because John Tolis has multiple times been getting involved in the in these matchups because they, they've wrestled about two or three times. Yeah. And each time John Tolis would get involved in the match and, uh, you know, Wet and Wild would lose. And, uh, Tommy, this match, John Tolis is going to be in a cage, uh, above, well, not above the ring, it was on the outside of the ring, yeah. but it was raised a little bit. Yeah, not, not by much. much, not, not much. by much raised. Uh, and, um, what'd you think about this match? It was okay. It was okay. It was it's, short, too. It was probably the fucking... I guess, I, guess, I guess my fucking, uh, fucking, this show's made me diminished. Because finally I found a decent fucking match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That actually was good. Uh, so it far, was so far the matches have been really less than stellar. So far, that 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 was a good match. Short, very short. Short, but it was good. It was good. Um, Tolis ends up. Uh, well, sorry, he wouldn't get in the cage at first, and Wet and Wild actually grab yeah. him and toss him into the cage. Uh, Tommy John Tolis ends up throwing nuts to uh, Bob Orton. Yes. While Cactus Jack is holding Steve Ray, because Sonny Beach got thrown with his Sandman gear out of the ring. Yes, he did. <laughs> so, so he's no help. Mm -hmm. He's no help for Steve Wild Thing Way. There went, there went Sonny Wet Beach out. And fucking uh, so, so Bob Orton gets the brass nuts from John Tolis, who threw it down to him. And fucking Cactus Jack's holding Steve Ray. Orton does the punch. Steve Ray moves out of the way. He hits Cactus Jack. Uh, busted Cactus Jack yeah, open. Busted Cactus Jack open. A, a drop kick by Steve Ray and out. And Bob Orton takes a little bit of a tumble. That's right. And one, two, three. Steve Ray pits Cactus Jack. So your winners, Steve Wild Thing Ray and Sunny Wet Beach <laughs> Wet and Wild, get the win here over Cactus Jack and Cowboy Bob Orton. And Tommy. This tag team of Bob Orton and Cactus Jack is uh, coming to an end. Because yeah, because now they beat the fuck out of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because why the fuck did you hit me? Yeah, why'd you hit me for? Well, you know I'm going to be feuding with your son here in a couple <laughs> of, uh, about 5, 10, 15 years. What the fuck the year is it? <laughs> about 15 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be feuding with your son 15 years from now. But, uh, um, they end up uh, fighting each other. Yep, uh, in a big smaz. In a big smaz. And they fight all the way to the back. Back to the curtain. Well, they show you in the curtain. There ain't that many there. So. <laughs> might as well cut it off yeah, there. Yeah, might as well cut it off there. Now, I don't know why they showed the curtain. I don't know why they showed the inside of the goddamn locker room for. I don't it know. It wasn't really a locker room. <laughs> Look like seats that just were fucking empty. Yeah. Last match, Tommy, the main event. The main event of UWF Beach uh, yes. uh, Beach Brawl '91 is for the UWF Sports Channel Television Championship. Yes, uh, Tommy, this is the finals. Yes, it is. There was a uh, tournament. A tournament. And these were the two people that made it to the finals: Bam Bam Bigelow and Steve Doctor Death Williams. And Tommy Herb Abrams comes out. Yes, he does. The esteemed president of yes. the UWF comes out, and uh, he wants to uh, wish luck on both men. Yeah, he shakes Steve Dr. Death Williams' hand. He goes to Bam Bam Bigelow, Bam Bam Bigelow, just get your electricity ass out of here. And he's <laughs> like, out uh, of Dr. Death. Dr. Death. Um, I'll say this, good match yeah. compared to everything on this yeah. card. Yeah, good match. Compared to everything this on this card. This is probably the fucking best match. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, this... This you know, is as good as you're going to get. In a sea of shit, you see a, a hidden gem. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the Wet and Wild and Bob Orton and Cactus Jack, that was just that was just a, a less turd. Yeah. You know, that was just a short. <laughs> a short. <laughs> but this um, was the hidden gem out of the shit. It was. But there's only one gripe I have about this match, okay? Yeah. Um, both of them get busted open in this match, but... They only get busted open because they punched each other in the in the in, in the face. Yeah. Um, now, y I mean, you can bloody somebody if you hit them, you know, so many times in the face. But I would rather them get busted open in some other fashion. Yeah, like ring post. Yeah, or... ring post, or maybe somebody get hit with a chair um, with when the referee's not looking or yeah. something like that, rather than punching each other. Because uh, you know, I mean. I don't want to make it kind of interesting. Yeah, it didn't diminish the match. It did. It? it didn't. But uh, Tommy, um, Doctor Death goes to the, for the uh, uh, the uh, Oklahoma Stampede. Oklahoma, Oklahoma Stampede couldn't get him down. Nope. Um, multiple times and uh, could, couldn't keep uh, Bam Bam down. Uh, he he whips uh, Doctor Death whips. Bam Bam into the turnbuckle. He comes off with a big, with a big power, power. power slam. Hooks the leg of Bam Bam Bigelow. One, two, three. And Steve, Dr. Dev Williams, is the, is the first ever UWF Sports Channel television champion. And like Corb Abrams said, I'm going with the doc. I'm going with the doc. I'm a money mark. And well, he's he, he's before Tony Khan. He's Tony Khan before Tony Khan. Well, well, Herb Abrams has a little bit of talent. At least he's electricity. He is. He's electricity. Tony Khan. Tony Khan. He's just Jameson. He's just a Jameson. Uh, Tommy Herb Abrams gets in the ring. 
gives uh, Dr. Death the Sports Channel Television Championship. Yes. Uh, Dr. Death cuts a little... All right, promo. Yeah, it says he's, he's going to be a fighting champion. He'll take on anybody. And he'll take on anybody, anybody on any promotion. And then Dr. Death walks out and you hear her babies. Yeah, he's got to say something. Yeah. And yeah, Dr. Death, he's my champion. He'll take on anybody in any federation. Well, that's what he just said, Herb. <laughs> that's what he said, Herb. You don't have to repeat. You don't have to repeat what, what Dr. Death Steve Williams said, motherfucker. He said what he said. You don't. We don't need your two cents. And as he says, thank you guys for viewing uh, UWF Beach Brawl. With the 550? Yeah, <laughs> with the 550 fans here at the Manatee Civic Center. Tommy, the fans start to leave. They put on their jackets. Yeah, they put on their jackets. They're, they're ready. <laughs> they're ready to leave. Like we, we just saw only two good matches at this whole fucking show. Uh, and Tommy, as Bruno, San Martino, yes. and Craig DeGeorge starts doing the recap, they shut the lights off. Yes, they did. They shut the fucking lights off while they're fucking recapping the show. I was sitting there like, why the fuck did you shut the lights off? They shut the lights off while, while Craig DeGeorge and fucking Bruno was recapping the show. And then they did a horrible recap of it. Yeah, they did a horrible <laughs> like recap. A... The fucking editing was fucked up. They have a match they're talking about. It ain't even on the goddamn poster. Yeah. On the highlight video, you see the fucking, the fucking power twins. The fucking mass confusion that they're talking about. Fucking, for example, fucking... Fucking Ivan Cole off of Bob Back. Yeah, so they're like, why the fuck are they talking about this when they have the still frame of yeah. a different match? Yeah, have a different match. And then, I, and, and then the one thing that bothered me too was it, it said, the Black Hearts over. <laughs> yeah, even, even, yeah they, they would always over. say over, 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 over. Instead of defeated or, 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 or beats. Or, yeah, or beat or whatever, it just says over. <laughs> Bob Backlund over Ivan Koloff. Yeah. The Blackhearts over Firecat Jim Cooper. Tommy, let's go ahead. Uh, I, I guess, I guess we'll go with the best match on the card. It has to be the main event. Well, the best match on the card's got to be Bam Bam Bigelow and Doctor Dusty Williams for the uh, UWF Sports Channel Television Championship. And probably the second match would be Bob Orton and Cactus Jack versus Wet and Wild. All the if rest you, of the show is the fucking shits. If you had to pick the worst match on the card, what was it? I have two. Okay, go ahead. The Blackhearts versus Jim Cooper and uh, Firecat. Okay. And Terry Gordy and Johnny Ace. All because of the fucking street fight. I am different. Okay. I'm going to go with the Power Twins and Mass Confusion because it was just dead-ass boring. And the ladies match. Yeah. Because it was the shits. Well, you can't use Terry Gordy in a fucking shitty match. Well, well, He's Bam know. Bam. He shouldn't be used like that. <laughs> UWF Beach Brawl. Did. Johnny Ace deserved what he got. Though. Yeah, he did. Uh, guys, we hope that you guys enjoyed the UWF Beach Brawl review. Pay-per-view review. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, we thought we thought about doing something outside of the yes. box compared to just, you know, WWE or WCW or ECW or yeah. NWA. Granted, there's only two UWF pay-per-views. But we decided to do one. Yeah, we decided to do one. We will do the other one at some point. Yes. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Russell Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter, at Russell Rampage. You can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. The links are right here. You guys can see them. And guys, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because Tommy... We are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better.